Life is too short to say no to a cake. It does not mean you should not take something else to eat to make yourself satisfied. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Abdurrahman Gaddafi Yassin and this is Show Me The Market. Today, I've paid a visit at Aisha Yahya, the CEO of Mam Imran's Creations. She's going to tell us more on how to bake a cake and all that it takes to have such a wonderful and beautiful cakes in Nairobi. Join me. Mm -hmm. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome. Today I'm with Aisha Yahya. She's going to tell us more about the business of making cakes. As you can see in front of the table, we have beautiful and great stuff so that you from home, you can learn on how to make it, how you can sell it, and how you can start your own business. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, Aisha? Alhamdulillah. Thank you so much for inviting us at your place. Thank you. Yes, kindly, like we can start, we can see good stuffs on the table and everything. Kindly tell us like what inspired you to start such kind of business? I have always loved cooking since I was a small girl. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do cakes, mm -hmm. but I was nobody from uh, my home, mm -hmm. my mom, my the her sisters, mm -hmm. any nobody that knew how to make cakes. Mm -hmm. So it took me time. Mm -hmm. We moved from Mombasa to Nairobi. Then I started buying the equipment slowly. Mm -hmm. I started baking myself, mm -hmm. but they kept burning mm -hmm. until I finally mm -hmm. got to know a few people and they started the long process of learning that never ends. Wow. So how, how was it like the process, like the way you started? Is there anyone who guided you like this is how you should mix one, two, three, or there was a school which you attended to, that's where you learned everything? At the beginning, I'd say no. Mm -hmm. Back in 2015, 2016, mm -hmm. internet wasn't everywhere like it is right now. Okay. So there was very little information. Mm -hmm. I didn't know where, who to go to. Mm -hmm. I didn't know anybody that used to bake. Mm -hmm. I approached the big shops, but definitely mm -hmm. they will tell me that they're not taking in people that are learning at the moment. Mm -hmm. So it was not easy. Mm -hmm. But with time, mm -hmm. internet came. I started seeing people online. Mm -hmm. I started seeing people baking. Mm -hmm. I tried most of the recipes, some mm -hmm. burnt, proper burning. <laughs> yeah, but if I, I can cut you, you know some of our, our good mothers or our sisters, yes. they love watching the tutorials from YouTube and everything. And they're like, I can follow the procedure mm -hmm. and boom, the, here's the results. How was it from your side? No, I'd say mm -hmm. if you get to where I am, mm -hmm. you already have enough information about cake. Mm -hmm. It becomes easier. Mm -hmm to follow what you've seen on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But if you're green, like I was, mm -hmm. with little or no information about cake, mm -hmm. you will burn, a, you will waste a lot of ingredients. What was your first experience the day that you followed the tutorials from YouTube? It burned baked, yeah. completely. <laughs> yeah. no, my husband laughed the whole day, <laughs> yes. Okay, tell us the first day that you started uh, baking your first cake into your parlor, that the one that we call Mam Imran's creation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How was it? I had been given money mm -hmm. to purchase a cake. Mm -hmm. It was around 3,000, mm -hmm. a 2 kg, or 3,500, I can't remember the exact amount, mm -hmm. by my husband. Mm -hmm. I negotiated with somebody, mm -hmm. but on the very last day, mm -hmm. she canceled me. She told me that she will not be able to deliver the cake for Saturday, mm -hmm. and the kid was all excited. Mama, I'm waiting for my cake. Mama, I'm waiting for my cake. Mm -hmm. I had already been given the money. Mm -hmm. So when she canceled me, mm -hmm. I thought, why not? So that day I went to town, mm -hmm. shopped, bought stuff. Mm -hmm. I came and using the money that I had been given to buy a cake, mm -hmm. I baked a cake. That was the first cake in 2018. You're the first client of your own. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so out of good stuff that we can see here, which means uh, Mam Imran's uh, creation, it's a, it's a brand on its own. Mm -hmm. Kindly tell us what made you come up with that name, Mam Imran's creation? I am very poor when it comes to naming things, naming businesses. Let me not say things, businesses. Yes. Mm -hmm. So my go-to will definitely be kids' names or my name or a combination of a name. Because when you tell me to get to these creative names, mm -hmm. I will take a while. Yeah, so Im Imran. I had a kid, mm -hmm. Im Imran, mm -hmm. and then people know me as Mam Imran. Mm -hmm. Actually, most of the people that know me, know me as Mam Imran. So I called it Mam Imran Creations. So to, to make it simpler also for the people who knows you so that they'll be like, okay, 
Okay, mashallah. So g coming back to the creativity stuff. So in, in, in matters of creativity and uh, coming up with good and beautiful decorations that we can see here, where does your creativity come from? Most of the time, mm -hmm. it's from the kids. Mm -hmm. You ask them and they have funny, sometimes nice ideas. Mm -hmm. Ask them what they want. You'll be shocked. They have ideas of what they want. Mm -hmm. So I maybe add a little or reduce or incorporate something different. Mm -hmm. But most of the time it's from the kids. Mm -hmm. And then once in a while I also check YouTube on the internet, what is trending, what are other bakers doing. Mm -hmm. yes. Speaking about kids, which one was the craziest idea that you, you received from a kid? A net, mm -hmm. putting a net mm -hmm. on a cake. Okay. I, I still don't know why you need a net on a cake, <laughs> but I respect their wishes. The kid insisted that the net has to be there. Okay, mashallah. <laughs> it's nice, eh? I think uh, uh, people back from home, they can view as well. You know, uh, maybe you can tell us about having this business and you are hosting it uh, at your home place and everything. How does it operate? I am the one who bakes. Mm -hmm. So we take orders two days before because I have to go to town, mm -hmm. shop for the things you want. Mm -hmm. Because as you can see, they're custom cakes. Mm -hmm. What one kid wants is going to differ from what another kid wants. Mm -hmm. For example, this top, as you're saying, mm -hmm. a different kid will ask for Spider-Man mm -hmm. or another one will ask for Coco Melon. Mm -hmm. I don't keep those in the house. Mm -hmm. So you have to book to place your order at least 48 hours before. Okay. Then I go to town, mm -hmm. I go shop, I come back. Mm -hmm. And then the baking itself, I start a day mm -hmm. before the date. Yes, if you want it tomorrow, I'd start baking today. Mm -hmm. Because the cake has to be baked, mm -hmm. we let it cool completely. If you put cream on a hot cake, the cream will melt. Mm -hmm. So you have to give it time, an hour and a half, sometimes two, depending on the weather, mm -hmm. for the cake to completely cool. Then now you can move on to the next step, which is decorating. Mm -hmm. You know, this type of business, you're not the only person maybe who is doing it, maybe around here or in Kenya. Mm -hmm. What makes you a unique person out of baking these cakes? The test. Mm -hmm. I work to improve that daily, daily, to make sure that even before we go to how the cake looks, mm -hmm. the inside is better than the outside. Mm -hmm. And then we try very as much as possible to make sure that what the client orders is what we get, is what is delivered to them. Because you don't want people disappointed in posting you or sharing you on social media. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, uh, and maybe where do you source your products from? From town. Okay, like do you have a specific shop whereby you can say, whenever I need candles, I can go here, or whenever I need the icing sugar, I can go to this place? Yes, mm -hmm. there are several cake shops in town. Easy Bake, Top Serve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are the ones I can remember. Feel Soft, mm -hmm. but there are several mm -hmm. that have all the things at least, most of the things that you will need to Bake a cake. You, get there. Mm. you know, in terms of baking or cooking, it's all about cleanliness and everything. Yes. So in matters of disposing your waste, mm -hmm. how do you do that? You have to clean. Mm -hmm. And the cleaning, you, you know, having a small business, especially mm -hmm. if you're working from home, like me, mm -hmm. you're the cleaner, you're the delivery person, mm -hmm. you're the baker, you're the cashier, you're the receptionist, you're everything. Mm -hmm. But you see, things have to get done until Allah opens up a way tomorrow for something bigger. But until then, you have to do everything yourself. So you organize yourself beforehand because there's cleaning to be done every step of the way. You have to work from a clean environment. You have to make sure the utensils are clean. So even before you start baking, the utensils already have to be clean. And maybe let's speak about uh, the matters of your mother, you're a woman whom you have your own house, doing your own business from your house. What, how does that work? You, you, you should have time for your husband, your kids. At the same time, you have to deal and work on this cake so that you can deliver in time. How does it work? And what can you maybe tell that person who is watching? You can motivate them and they want to do the same thing. It's possible. Mm -hmm. It's possible, but it's... It's a lot of work mm -hmm. and it requires a lot of organization mm -hmm. and it requires you to have support. Mm -hmm. I thank God I have support. My husband is very supportive. He helps me deliver the cakes. Mm -hmm. And anytime I need help, mm -hmm. he comes through. But it's not easy, especially with kids. Mm -hmm. You will be preparing to bake right now and they decide we are not baking right now. Mm -hmm. We have to do it later. So you have to make sure you, 
deal with them, you get them out of your way, and then you can bake later. Mm. So actually, you have to start early the preparation. Mm -hmm. You cannot wake up right now and decide, I want a cake at three. Mm -hmm. It's not possible. So w what you're trying to say is that it's all about preparing yourself. Preparing and yourself, mm -hmm. organizing yourself, mm -hmm. planning your day ahead. Okay, before mm. you, you get into your business or yes. before you start... Uh, Concentrating yes. with your kid yes. or your husband. Mm. Okay, Marshall. If you need a cake on Sunday, mm -hmm. you have to let me know beforehand so that I can plan for that Sunday. Mm -hmm. And how much do you charge per cake? Because there are different types of cake. Like in front of us here, there are different. Like this is another one, this is another one, and there is cupcakes mm. and everything. How do you charge? That, that is where the biggest problem, I think, arises from. Mm -hmm. Because most of the customers we have mm -hmm. do not know or I think they have little information mm -hmm. with regards to how much goes into cake. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example with these two, mm -hmm. two cakes I have here. Mm -hmm. These are chocolates. Yes, if you are selling now, how much will you sell this? In this cake, you'll get it for at least 3,000 shillings. Okay, this one? This, yes, this one. Okay. Because these chocolates alone are 350. Mm -hmm. This Ferro Rocha. Now you see, when you see it on a photo, Mm -hmm. It looks nice, and then somebody tells you 3,000, you're like, wow, that's a lot of money. But the chocolates alone are 350 bob. Only the chocolates? Yes, just buying those three pieces of chocolate. You've not incurred the cost of maybe the biscuits, which I can see, uh, yes. the flour, yes, and the flour, mm -hmm. the eggs, mm -hmm. the cream. Mm -hmm. It's a whole process, the mm -hmm. boards, the packaging. Okay, this one, the other one? The toppers you see on top mm -hmm. are 400. Where? So if you are selling this one, mm -hmm. how much would you sell? That cake will be 2,900. 2,900. We're taking a short break. When we'll be right back, we'll tell you more about it. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back. This is Show Me The Market. And uh, today I'm with Aisha Yahya, who she's telling us more about the business of cakes because most of people love sweet things, mashallah. Join me as she's going to tell us more and sit there so that you can get more knowledge on cakes and how you can start your own business. Asalaamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Salaam. Yes, Aisha, yeah, we are getting back to, uh, to the matters of the capital on how I want to start my own business of cake or maybe I want to start it at home. What do I need to start this business? There's a lot of equipment mm -hmm. that is required. Mm -hmm. There's a mixer, mm -hmm. there's an oven, mm -hmm. there are other small, small things that you require to get started. Okay. So from the outside, it looks pretty much simple. Mm -hmm. But when you get inside, you realize there are a lot of small, small things mm -hmm. that nobody told you or you didn't think of mm -hmm. that eventually become an issue. Mm -hmm. So to, in order to make production, possible okay mm. so in terms of equipment uh, what can you advise like a beginner can i go for like brand brand new things or can i go to the second hand things no you can try both because the difference isn't really that big but you can opt for the cheaper mixers the hand mixers as compared to the big stand mixers yeah you can also opt for second hand mm -hmm. because or the jewelcalitins you see the ones that are imported up very a bit pricey mm -hmm. so you can opt for jewelcalitins they will get you pretty much the same thing mm -hmm. but at a lower price mm -hmm. but it also just like any other business mm -hmm. it will require you to have starting capital mm -hmm. yes like how much becomes a bit difficult mm -hmm. to give you a number mm -hmm. Because you also have to include marketing. Mm -hmm. Like, like, uh, let's speak about you. The day you started, uh, you, you used at least how much? You know, I started blindly. I, I loved baking. Mm -hmm. So I started blindly. Mm -hmm. I did the first cake. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yes, I can bake. Then I went to the shop. And the first time I went to that shop, I bought things that were worth 10,000 shillings. For that day? For that day. Mm -hmm. And that was your first cake? Yes. Mm -hmm. Then I went back home. Mm -hmm. Then when you go back home now, you realize, after some time, you bake the second, the third, and the fourth cake, and you realize you're making mistakes. Okay. Because an example, the first cakes I made, mm -hmm. I included the cost of the toppers mm -hmm. okay. as part of the cake. Mm -hmm. 
I didn't know how it's charged. So I just assumed if a cake is 1800 mm -hmm. and the toppers are going for 400, mm -hmm. that cake is. Yes. Okay. But I didn't realize that if you charge that, the cake is 1800 and the toppers are 400, then you charge it 1800. Mm -hmm. It means you've eaten on the profit. That means you operating at a loss. You're getting uh, uh, speaking about uh, losses what what can you tell us about your the high moments of the business and the low moments of the business keeping in mind that you started in 2018 how was your 2020 the time of covid-19 that hit everyone during covid from march april may mm -hmm. things were not good mm -hmm. because people stopped buying cakes mm -hmm. completely you we went for up to five, six months without baking a single cake. Mm -hmm. So now you start considering what other opportunities can you... Alternatives. Yes, <laughs> other alternatives are available at the market. Yes. But after some time, mm -hmm. things started baking, though it also didn't bake immediately. You'd bake like one cake the whole month, sometimes a month or two pass without baking a cake. Mm -hmm. mm. So we can say that was your low moment. Yes. Your high moment. High moment was sometime in the end of last year, mm -hmm. yes, around December. Mm, before, I think November, December, mm -hmm. yes, I had a wedding and a birthday. I had a month that I was fully booked. Mashallah. Okay, so uh, speaking about uh, the low moments and the high moment of the business and comparing 2020 with these other months, what can you say after the COVID-19 now, how is the business coping and everything? Things are getting back to normal. Mm -hmm. The only challenge is that prices have gone up. Mm -hmm. Prices of everything. Mm -hmm. What would take me 1500 to produce mm -hmm. is now costing me almost 1000 extra to produce. So the prices have gone up and the clients sometimes don't understand that the prices have gone up for us as well. Okay. Yes, so somebody will be expecting now that the last Cake you bake was 2000. Mm -hmm. I also, I'm one year later, <laughs> I'm expecting to get a cake at 2000. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a challenge. Speaking about challenge, let's speak about the challenge which you, you, you get uh, each day because I know it's not a bed full of roses. You must incur some uh, challenges that you face every day. Mm -hmm. What are some of these challenges and how do you cope up or how do you sort them out? Some people not, don't pay you. They don't pay you? Mm hmm. How do you, uh, now how do you deal with such kind of of people? You just let it go. You mm -hmm. feel it for the first two, three, four, five days. Mm -hmm. And then, Allahu Alam, you let it go. Okay. So that's one. Maybe another challenge? Yes, communication. Mm -hmm. Some people will not communicate properly mm -hmm. or give you different information. Then later, mm -hmm. change it. Mm -hmm. then, you know, it's a kick. It needs to be baked. Mm -hmm. If you cancel me right now, and I had told the toppers guy to make a topper, and the name is written Omar or Shamim, that one is written Shamim, mm -hmm. then you tell me after the guy has already produced the topper, you know, you're not the ones who make the toppers. Okay. There are people in town who make. Mm -hmm. When you cancel me the last minute, that means that 400 is gone. Has it ever happened to you that someone booked you and uh, the time that you are expecting him or her to come and collect, then he was like, I'm sorry, I cannot take it anymore. Yes, it happens a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see the cream, mm -hmm. the soft cream dries up. Okay. So if you say you'll pick your cake today, and then you decide you're not picking it today, you're picking it tomorrow, mm -hmm. you risk the cream cracking up and then you'll start blaming me. Okay. It happens a lot. Mm -hmm. So we try to fix it. Mm -hmm. If you realize you'll not be able to pick it today, mm -hmm. I can maybe do the cake for you. That is the decoration. Mm -hmm. Or you can come up with something between me and the client. Okay. So speaking about the cream that uh, it dries up, so before someone comes and collects the cake, so you, you, you are like you are, you are decorating it uh, like an hour before? Yes. Or it also Pre takes a day before? It could go a day before. Mm -hmm. Just don't keep it more than 36 hours. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can tell us a little bit, because the way you've told us about the, the cream, it should not be kept for more than 36 hours and everything. Like what's the procedure of having a full baked cake like the one we can see here? It starts from getting the ingredients, mm -hmm. then I bake the cake. Uh, if I bake the cake, I have to let it cool. An hour and a half, 
sometimes too, depending on the weather, mm -hmm. then when the cake is completely cooled, mm -hmm. now we start the assembling. Mm -hmm. The assembly of the cake depends on what the client wants. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you put biscuits in between, mm -hmm. sometimes you put berries, mm -hmm. fruits, mm -hmm. you can, we also cook them, mm -hmm. compote, you fill in between the cake, then now you push the cream, and then you can put the outside decorations. The creams are also different. Mm -hmm. There's this soft cream. There's one that uses, uh, this is called whipped cream. Okay. There's one that uses butter, mm -hmm. butter cream. Mm -hmm. And there's one that is hard. It's mostly seen mm -hmm. in wedding cakes. It's hard. Yeah, when you yeah. touch it, it's hard, yes. Mm -hmm. It's mostly done for wedding cakes, but some people also choose it for other events. Mm -hmm. So the buttercream cream, is okay, you can keep it for a day or two, it is still going to be intact, provided you just refrigerate it. The same case happens with the fondant cakes, that is the hard icing. But the cream cakes, these whipped cream cakes, these ones have to be decorated as closest possible to the time the cake is going to be picked and consumed. It's not supposed to be kept for long. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, there is a saying which says that customer is king and content is key. Uh, how do you maintain your customers and how do you keep track of them so that tomorrow I can come back and order the same product from you? Mm. We keep communication with them. We give them discounts. Mm -hmm. uh, in case they refer somebody else, mm -hmm. you discount for them on the next kick. Mm -hmm. Good communication with them. Mm -hmm. Relating well with them. Actually, most of the clients I have as at now are referrals. Mashallah. Refer Which somebody. means you are doing something great. Yes. yes. There are very few that I have gotten from the social media. Mm -hmm. Most of them are referrals. And they will come, they are happy, they go bring more people. Mm -hmm. That is why we say you are only as good as your last kick. Do you have a, a mentor or do you mentor other girls who wants to come up with such uh, wonderful work that you are doing? Mentors? I think I have a whole list of mentors because as I told you, I love cooking. Yes. So I follow a lot of people who cook. Mm -hmm. I follow a lot of people who bake. Mm -hmm. Basically, I follow a lot of women who are cooking in the social media. Mashallah. Maybe for a, a young girl who is watching now and maybe wants to get into this type of business, mm -hmm. what can you tell them? Go for it. Mm -hmm. Go for it. I know it's scary. I know it's possible, it looks impossible, mm -hmm. but just do it anyway. Mm -hmm. Because most of people, they fear that, like they can ask you mm -hmm. in terms of market, where am I going to sell it? Whom am I going to sell to? Mm -hmm. What can you tell them about that? Like those are the kind of worries that they have. What can you tell them? I say worry more about what you're producing. Mm -hmm. Worry more about giving a good kick. Mm -hmm. It will bring more people. Don't worry about where the clients will come from. Mm -hmm. Just do your best to keep improving keep trying new trends keep trying what is what other people are doing eventually things just work out i know it takes time it's not easy i'm not saying you're going to start today and two months later you are Boom. running a full bakery no mm -hmm. it takes time mm -hmm. but it is it will be worth your while where do you see yourself in the next five years growth i had two small kids so mm -hmm. my curve was moving very very slow mm -hmm. But they're all grown now. They are now leaving me alone. So in the next two, three years, yes. I believe I'll be, I don't know. Do you have, do you have a dream of having your own like a uh, cake parlor, doing your own stuff and everything, inshallah. May Allah make it easy for you, inshallah. And I think if anyone wants uh, cakes from uh, Mam Imran's uh, creation, where can they find you? On social media. I'm on Instagram, Mamim Run Creations. Mm -hmm. I'm on Facebook, Mamim Run Creations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm in TikTok, mm -hmm. Mamim Run Creations. Mm -hmm. We have a WhatsApp number. You can text or call at any time, 0735-792-380. MashaAllah. Mm -hmm. Now, as we wrap up the show, what is that last thing that you'd like to tell people who are watching? Especially those who don't who are not working there in the house. Mm -hmm. I believe there's a lot that you can do from the house. You don't have to love cooking. I know not all of us love cooking, 
but there are other things you can do to make yourself a little bit financially stable. Mm. That's all. <laughs> Mashallah. <laughs> thank you so much for watching and thank you so much uh, Aisha for giving us this uh, invite at your place and uh, showcasing and uh, trying to educate more people who are watching about cakes and everything. For you, my lovely viewer back uh, from home, I can tell you thank you so much for keeping watching. This is Show Me The Market and my name is Abdurrahman Gaddafi Yassin. Today was all about cakes and now it's our time to have some bites. Mm -hmm.